In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can Voronize your Coreality Ender 6. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary and like mentioned in the intro, today we are going to Voronize the Coreality Ender 6. You can also call it Clipperized, but in my case, I followed the instruction to put the software from Voron onto my Coreality Ender 6. In this case, I am following the main sale OS on my Creality and the 6S Clipper version. You have also Flood, also Octoprint. In this tutorial, I'm going to follow main sale because I do like main sale, I do like the interface, and it's also very familiar with the Voron 0.1 that I recently have installed main sale OS as well. What else do you need? I use in my tutorial, I'm going to use the Big 3 Tech SCAR Mini E3 V2 board and the stock board. I took out. You also need a Raspberry Pi board 3B or higher and also the suitable USB A to USB micro and I have also two micro SD cards one with at least 16 gigabytes and the other one with 8 gigabytes. I will put all links in the description of this video from the sites that I took for the software and well let's get into the tutorial.
main sale OS download and installation. Go to docs.voron.com slash build slash software. Choose which software installation you want, main sale, flood or octoprint. In my case, I choose main sale OS. Click on it, install main sale. This will lead to another website. But if you click right mouse button, you will stay on the site and another tab will open. Download main sale OS by clicking on the release. If you click main sale OS docs, you will get a new website with instructions for installing main sale OS via Raspberry Pi Imager, which I also have used. Open Raspberry Pi Imager, click on OS and select use custom selecting file from your computer. Go to the location of your computer where you put the downloaded main sale OS to. After you have selected the file, you need to select the storage location. After selecting, click on the gear for settings. Now you can set your host name so you can find the printer in the network. Write this down, it will help you later. Enable SSH and set use password authentication. Enable user and password and write this down as well. Then hit save. Click on write. Click yes on the warning screen. After writing and verifying the SD card, it's prompted to continue and you can remove the SD card safely. So the SD card goes into the Raspberry Pi. If your ethernet cable is connected to your network, put the adapter into the power socket so the Raspberry Pi is getting power. The Pi starts up. After a few minutes, log into your router and check your wired devices. If correctly, you will see some new device. If not, check if the Pi is powered on or not. If you have written down your main sale OS name, then also write down the IP and also the MAC address that you will see on the page from your router. There are two ways to log in into your printer's web page. One of them is http double point slash slash and then the name of your printer dot local or use the IP address that you got from your router. Then if you are successfully logged in into your main sale OS, you will see some data, but not everything is as it's supposed to be. So you choose machine. You will find it on the left side of your screen. There should be a file called printer.cfg. Of course, in my case, it wasn't there. I think in your case, you also won't see it. You are going to create this file. Call it printer.cfg and then save. In that file, on the first line, hashtag main sale setting. On the second line, in, in the two brackets, include mainsale.cfg closing bracket and on the fourth line hashtag other settings two points i don't know if two points is really the thing that you should do but in the example there were two dots click on the save and restart button you'll see that the pi was restarted now update all software on the right side and click them all. Sometimes you will get some error messages, but that is in this case pretty normal. If you've done all of the updates, it should say with all of them up to date. Clipper configuration and installation. Use PuTTY for Windows or Terminal for Mac to log in into your Raspberry Pi. Use the IP address that you got from the router. Use the login that you have created, for example, Pi at your IP address and click on connect. Once it starts, enter your created password. If not, standard password is raspberry. Enter sudo apt install make and press enter. Then cd, this, I don't know what this sign means, slash clipper and hit enter. Then make menu config, no space in between, and then enter. Set in the menu all these settings from for the big 3Tech SKR Mini E3V2 board. Once done, press escape to exit and yes to save the configuration. Enter, make clean, enter. Enter, make, enter. Now Clipper is going to be created. 
start WinSCP or use in my case Cyberduck to get the firmware clipper.bin from the Raspberry Pi. Log in via the program, go to home, Pi clipper out. Download the clipper.bin file to your local desktop. On the desktop, rename the file into firmware.bin. Copy this onto a formatted FAT32 micro SD card. Make sure that the mainboard isn't powered if you are putting the micro SD card in the controller board. Disconnect the USB connector and then put your micro SD card in there, turn on the printer and also the Raspberry Pi board. Wait until the printer is booted. After that, put the USB back to the board and install the cover plate back to the printer. You can choose for it to leave the cover plate open for installing the display. Well, in my case, there is clipper standing on the display and it will be standing there because the screen doesn't have any function at all so you can skip this part but you can also continue so if you want to have a different splash screen onto your Creality and the 6, well, you can also install display firmware. To do that, go to the link in the description and download the dwin underscore set dot tar dot gz. Once downloaded, take the micro SD card with an 8 gigabyte or more, format the micro SD card with a FAT32 with a cluster size of 4096 bytes. Once once the formatting is done, unzip the dwin underscore set dot tar dot gz onto a formatted SD card. To put the micro SD card in the, on the back of the display, on the back side and underneath are four hack bolt screws. Make sure the printer is not powered. Then unscrew the four hex bolts from the display board. Remove the hot glue for the connector and unplug the connector. Put the micro SD card into the card reader from the display board. Put the connector back into the controller board from the display and then switch on the printer. You will see that the screen starts loading the firmware with downloading and loading. After that is done, all of the screens will flash over the display and none of them you can use in this tutorial. In one moment, the screen turns back into blue and in the upper left corner, you will see SD card uh, process three dots and exclamation mark. Turn off the printer and disconnect the connector. Remove the micro SD card from the display. Place the display board back into the housing. Use the four hack bolts to fasten the display board. Put the connectors back into the display board and then install the housing back onto the frame from the printer. After that is done, you can power up the printer one more time again. And by the way, the bigger micro SD card, you cannot use it. So the Voronoi Clipperized 
Reality and the 6. Depending on how you want to see it or how you want to call it, I would call it Foron 6. Foron and the 6 whatever it's it's fun it's fully enclosed i have an all metal hot end with a hardened nozzle the filament spool holder is on the inside so my possibilities are less limited and because of that i'm not only printing pla with it also petty abs and i'm also going to try because i have two spools of nylon filament waiting for so long i am going to finally print some nylon with it but i need to have something to print i'm not going to print any bandages with nylon carbon fiber that would be a little bit expensive i guess but anyways the possibilities are endless of course you can go for higher speeds as well because there is clipper on it so let me know what do you think about this installation this video is supported by these amazing patron supporters the light speed fix dude carl fenton nate williams yj and also a mystery patron supporters which name shall not be mentioned but you know exactly who you are please like this video share this video with other people and social media and we will see each other next time peace bye bye